Hey guys, very excited about today's video. A huge thanks to Lenovo for giving me their amazing brand new phone, the Fab 2 Pro. The world's first phone with Tango. Which kind of feels like a piece from the future just dropped right here in the present. And that's exactly why I decided to make a very special time travel episode of Jackass. Question one, do you believe in the possibility of time travel? I literally just said that this is the time travel episode of Jackass. Please try to keep up. Question two, if you could go back in time, what's one thing you'd change about your childhood? Well, I would probably confront my middle school bully and tell him I grew up to be a big YouTube star. Of course, then he'd be all like, what's a YouTube? You know what, that question sucks. Next question. Question three, would you travel to the past or the future? Listen up, hooligan llama. I'm about to blow your mind. Mm. That's good meat. So I'm taking my Fab 2 Pro with me to travel through space and time in my own personalized home-built time machine. Purple, red. Oh, okay. Oh, we got a green one. That's good. I think that's good. Let me measure it with my phone real quick. Okay, measuring the dimensions with Tango's AR measurement tools to make sure everything lines up. Looks good. Open! Let's go! <sighs> just so you know, time travel is not instant. So while we're waiting, how about I just answer some of your questions? How do I tell my parents that I'm goth? What you can do is travel to the future where uh, you outgrow your goth phase. Boom, problem solved. How many stars are in our galaxy? Good question. To find out, we're gonna go all the way back to 1590 to ask the man himself, Galileo. Ah, 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 ah. If only we could see the heavens instead of relying on our mind's eye. Whoa, shut up for a second. I think I can help you guys out. It's Diablo. No, it's actually called augmented reality. It lets me see a fully scaled model of the solar system. The sun, the Big Dipper, the Little Skipper, a unicorn, Unicran, some other ones. Oh, real quick, do you guys know how many stars are in our galaxy? <laughs> you know what, I'll just look it up. Thanks anyway, bye. He's a bit of a jerk, wasn't he? What is your favorite video game? I'm not really a fan of the new ones. I don't really have the fingers for them. So let's go all the way back to 1972 to play the first video game. Hey guys, what are we working on? Well, I don't mean to brag, but we've created something revolutionary. You see, this rectangular paddle hits this round circular ball, and then that ball travels across this empty black space where it meets up with another paddle. <laughs> huh? That's really tight, guys. Uh, and you'll be happy to hear that you helped pave the way for AR games. Check this out. What is it? It's the future. So you're trying to hit this target. Where are the cords? No cords. Here, look. Honey, we should get one of these. What do you think it'll be like in the year 2150? Ah, oh, finally, a good question. Let's go to the future where people can finally wrap their minds around this crazy technology. It's time to go Jack to the Future. Get it? Uh, Jack to the Future. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pun on a famous movie uh, where Simba loses his dad. Um, wait. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh my gosh, you must be my great, great grandson. Get out of my home. Let's grab a picture of the handsome boy, huh? No. Just gotta add a dragon, and boom! That's pretty cool, right? A little dragon popping up and everything. Your body language says yes. No. Not a little? No. -uh. Not even a little? No. Yeah, no, I'm busy too. I gotta get back to my time machine. It was really cool catching up. <laughs> call me, or, you know, ah, oh, it doesn't work like that. Uh, call me anyway, man. All in all, that was a pretty good trip. Oh, and Lenovo, thanks for the free phone. Not giving it back. <laughs> Not paying for that, not paying for that. Not my problem, 